Hello and welcome to Jira workflow tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about the Jira workflow scheme and then we'll create a new scheme and associate the workflow that we have created till now. So let's go to the administration section and go to the issues and from issues we'll go to the workflow section. Now in last couple of tutorials we have covered all about creating a workflow from scratch and which is the RCV Jira workflow um, tutorial is the name for that particular workflow and then we have understood what all um, you know triggers and conditions and validators and post functions about the workflow so this is our sample workflow that we created from scratch and then we have added the transition we have understood uh, a lot in detail about the transition and statuses and then we understood a lot about the triggers conditions validators post functions if you want to dig more detail you can click on this learn more uh, confluence document and it will redirect you to the uh, confluence documentation about the advanced jira workflow configuration and you can learn a lot more there now we have covered triggers conditions validators and post functions for this workflow but it, this workflow is not associated with any of the project till now that means this is still inactive and it's not um, part of any of the uh, issues or um, issue transition till now so what needs to be done is the next step in the workflow implementation is to create a workflow scheme and then associate this workflow with the workflow scheme so what we'll do is we'll click go to the workflow scheme and then click on workflow add workflow scheme and we'll see our CV uh, will give a similar name workflow tutorial scheme and to save time I'll copy and paste the same name there now our workflow scheme got created now if you see this workflow scheme there is a default Jira workflow in this workflow scheme already now we do not want this default Jira workflow there so what we'll do is we'll say add a workflow and then add existing right and we'll add RCV Jira workflow tutorial workflow that we created which is this one uh, that is displayed on the screen and click on next right as soon as you click on next you will see that there is a currently assigned workflow as well which is Jira workflow which is default workflow that will be created once you create a scheme but then this RCV Jira workflow um, that we created as part of this tutorial we can assign it to particular issue types only say for example I just want to use this workflow for bug epic story and task and rest all can keep using the Jira workflow existing workflow I can just select choose um, four of those and then I can add those and then I can remove the old one so all um, the, the other uh, the old workflow will be removed but what will happen is if you remove the old one all unassigned issue types will by default come to this new workflow as well right so as you can see that all the issue this basically means all the issue types have been allocated to only one workflow because you haven't you don't have any other workflow wherein you can assign all unassigned issue types so now we have assigned all the issue types to RCV Jira workflow tutorial um, workflow and which is the scheme uh, RCV workflow tutorial scheme so that's pretty much all about the creating um, the scheme now once the scheme has been created we can go ahead and edit so we'll see the inactive scheme because that is not yet active so RCV workflow tutorial scheme is the scheme so we'll edit it and then we'll try to add another workflow to it All right. so we'll say add existing and then we'll say custom workflow and what we'll do is we'll say all unassigned issue types to custom workflow so now you can see RCV Jira workflow tutorial um, 
is having the issue type or the issue type bug epic story and task are using the first workflow and all other issue types in this project will be using RCV custom workflow right so we have a scheme we have two workflow underlying that and then these two workflows have set of issues that will follow that particular workflow now we are almost halfway through the next step into this workflow tutorial is to allocate or to assign this workflow scheme to a particular project now to do that we need to go to the project so i'm going to the project and selecting a project and once you are in the project we will go to the project settings and from project settings you can see the workflow section you can see all the details there and in the left hand side if you click on workflows then in the workflows you can associate a new workflow so at the moment it's using software simplified workflow for project RA and the scheme is software simplified workflow scheme now to change or switch the scheme we can simply say switch scheme and from this theme we can choose our CV workflow tutorial scheme right and associate that scheme to this new project now you will see that as soon as you do that there will be a screen appearing that the current status of the current workflow need to be mapped with the new status in the new workflow because current workflow was different and new workflow is the new workflow that we created so anything in progress we'll just say yes in development because there is no in progress status in the new workflow anything to do remains in open anything done goes to closed anything in progress goes to in development and anything to do goes in um, open right and then we'll associate so Please note that once you are in production scenarios and there are lots and lots of issues in your project uh, for which you are associating a new workflow scheme then you need to ensure that you are mapping the statuses correctly from the current status to the new status because it might become really tedious process or task to fix those later manually so bear in mind that you are doing a lot of consultation with the project stakeholders when you are having a live project and migrating the issues to the new workflow and then click on associate so migration will start and all the issues in the uh, project will be appearing for the migration once it's done click on acknowledge and that's it so now you can see that a new workflow RCV workflow tutorial scheme got associated which which has two workflow custom workflow and Jira workflow um, which is associated with story bug epic and task and then all others are using the custom workflow so that is um, all about how you can associate the workflows that you create with the workflow scheme and then from workflow scheme to the project. Now in the next tutorial, we'll test all these steps or uh, whatever we have done for the Jira workflow till now, creating work workflow from scratch and then adding conditions, validations, post functions. In further tutorials, we'll test all those functionality in this new project. Hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.